I've just missed Johnny falling over, but uh, right. <laughs> we've brought the car back to the dyno. Uh, we were on, was the start of the year we come? I think it was, something like that, yeah. And we got, we're 207 horsepower. And since then, we now want, we've now changed in at Manifold and we're on a K-Pro V4, which I'm pointing over there because it is over there, but you can't see it. So uh, we're now going to see how close the current file is that I've uh, borrowed off the Honda to Vault and then do some adjustments accordingly and see where we get to. So for anyone that doesn't know, it's a K20Z4, not a K20A2, which is the FN2 engine. And an RBC in that manifold and down the back of there is a 42 to 1, the shiny bit from an FN2 because it fits a jazz good and uh, a heat, super heat soaker next to a battery that's going to get no cold air at all. We'll see how it goes on. I'll try not to fall off the edge of the dyno as well. First test, big dip in VTEC like you'd expect, um, and then also, unfortunately, decides to go lean, so aborted at six two ish. Um, laptop's now dead, unfortunately, but um, 191 at 6122. So it might have potential because obviously, if we can pull that back down again somewhere there with the fuel in, that'll just carry on going upwards. As you can see, it was starting to go. So it actually start to come up probably about there with onwards. Hopefully it'll carry on. Just need some laptop to work. To do in a one, yeah. Just, just knock, knock a bit out from here until it's more level, and then if we need to, bring this up a touch. Yeah, so we take seven and a half to eight to nine thousand out. Yeah, a few, and then yeah, try and get all that level, right. then just sneak it up. Yeah, just sneak it up a bit because it might not like. Yeah, it might not. Too late, you know. It's definitely coming on, though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was eleven eight, it's gone to twelve three there, so might want a little bit more, but not a lot. Yeah. 
12-7 there, which isn't bad. No. 12-7 is quite good actually. So it's mainly from there, so that's from about 6 and six a half. So if we do from what, what are our break points? 7-3-50 or something. You or it's a weird scale on that, it's oh, not quite it? that, yeah. It might be 7 2, it hasn't it? It's got weird scale on it. Well, definitely from 7.5 onwards. Yeah. It wants to lead out. Do that first. Might get to a 2.30 here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just looking like it. Is. There. I wonder what the timing's at up there. See how it's dipped off quickly. Yeah. I wonder if the timing or the cam timing may be up there. It's a lot smoother now, Yeah, because when we, yeah, cause when we that put that. Did it, right? Yeah, so taking that out. Yeah, we'll check the cam time up the top and have a look on the table. Yeah, check we'll knock the time up there as well. Yeah. Well, that was just eight, so. Yeah, but it's dropped off anyway, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's, for some reason, yeah. It might just be because it's so rich, because it is yeah. going really rich. It there. is, eh? Very rich. It's like uh, 11 to 5 there. So. I'll be running me turbo at that. <laughs> that might be all that is, that bit. Yeah. Right. So lean that out first up there then and then try it. Yeah, so seven and a half onwards we'll take a few yeah, out and try and smooth and try and even that out first. Yeah, yeah. cool. Level, level. Cars have been on the dyno with a bread maker in the back. Right, so Jazz was on the dyno. Um, it kind of did what I thought it would do, which is not bad. Uh, I'll show you the graph in a second. But yeah, it, it seemed to do all right. Um, I've no idea what the mileage is on the engine. I think I was told it was about 70, 80,000. I'm not sure, but it performed pretty well. I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I don't think the performs as good as an A2 does on uh, with bolt and mods, but still, it's not bad. You got to remember, it's like thousand kilo car, whatever it is. So it's pretty good, really. It's power to weight, it's pretty decent. So there's our graph. Um, right the way up there. So we're making. We'll call it two thirty. We did see a two two nine point nine nine, but we're making it pretty much on the limiter. Which I don't think is too bad, really. Um, I mean, obviously, we could, we might smooth that out a little bit more later, you know. But we, we kind of got where we got to just as a quick go. So, right up the top of there, torque's all right as well. One hundred and sixty-eight pound per foot of torque. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with it. I mean, bear in mind it is an FN two in uh, exhaust manifold, which might be causing it a bit of trouble. We don't know. It's just a cheap one. I think it was one hundred and fifty quid off eBay. Uh, an RBC inlet manifold and a heat soaker air filter uh, and then the three inch system that'll be spot on for it so chances are we could change the exhaust manifold but I don't know if I'd get another one that would fit in a jazz as easy that one fits spot on uh, the RBC is fine and I could change the inlet manifold uh, sorry I could change the air filter setup possibly which I might look at doing anyway um, I'd need to move the battery but that's not particularly a problem so that's something I might look into. It might give us a tiny little bit more, but the fact it makes it quite high up there, I'm, it's pretty decent, really. It, it actually drives totally different to what it did before. I mean, it's making their standard power about six and a half thousand. So, you know, it's decent, like. Torque comes in, where's our peak torque? Five, one. It's decent, like. It's pretty good. It's actually a world of part of driving. So much better than it was before. Um, yeah, so originally when we first took it to the dyno, it was running so lean on VTEC, it was unreal. I don't actually know how it did blow up for the last couple of weeks, but then I've pretty much driven it normally. But yeah, so that's the jazz mapped for now. Um, it's pretty much it finished. I mean, things I can change if I needed to as well. I could change the oil pump. Uh, it's the Z4 engine, obviously not the A2, so I could put like a, try and look at putting the A2 oil pump in it, get rid of the balance shaft, that might free up a few horsepower, I'm not sure. Apparently it does, um, but it's really expensive to do. It's like 500 quid or something, and I could put some drop-in cams in it as well. That might take the horsepower up again, but that's like another £1,000. So you're looking at 1,500 quid to maybe see, I don't know, 240, 250 max sort of thing. It's I'm just not convinced it's really worth it. Uh, it's a light little car. I mean, yeah, that would make a fair bit of difference too, and it would feel a hell of a lot faster, but 
it doesn't really matter too much. Um, the 230 is kind of about what I thought would get, so I've kind of made the power that I, I imagined it would make. So it's not really a problem, but it's where do you go to from here? Do you, do you buy throttle bodies instead of the unit manifold to gain another five horsepower or something? I don't know. Do you buy a supercharger for five, six thousand pounds? Do you do you turbo it for about three thousand pounds? Or do you just not bother doing any of that and just drive it as the car that it is because it drives great? So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it as the car it is and drive around in it because so far it's been about what, eight, nine months now, never let me down. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Why play with it more when it's reliable? So yeah, um, that's the jazz done for now. You never know, things might change. I might change it a bit. Never say never.